Hey, how's it going? I'm gonna give this one shot without hopefully running out of film time on here. I wanted to do a follow up to the video that I did the other day. Uh, I tried to do something yesterday. My allergies were going crazy. I couldn't keep my eyes open and uh, my mouth is super dry, worse than it is today. And um, I wanted to do a follow up because like, so I couldn't quite even get all the words yesterday, but basically I did this video announcing my return. And I think, like I got a lot of really like positive replies, which is great. I love, I appreciate all the nice comments. I love people being nice so much. But there's one person who challenged me who was kind of like condescending and talking back and you know, more power to them opening up the conversation. Um, she said that I'm bad representation and I don't want to embarrass her or I make her look bad, right? Huh? Like as if I'm her ambassador or something and it's like, yo girl, like I think that's the problem is you're missing the message here. Well, this wasn't about political representation or me representing a demographic. This was about and this is the kind of direction I want my channel to go in is like dealing with my like real life and dealing with people because like I'm not gonna sit here and preach politics and stuff and ideology. I'm I that's bad. I don't really enjoy that and it's not good for it's not good for everyone. So I was talking about how I dealt with some recent and some older as well. Um difficulties maintaining friends and staying in groups of friends and dealing with various echo chambers and y'all know like some of you know my lore going way back some of you very few of you know some of the more recent stuff because I've gotten more private and that was kind of what I was talking about in this last video okay. and on that note I just wanted to kind of side note like some of the people I've had in mind for over the years when I was making that video, I was very emotional and I was very, I was kind of upset a little bit, but at the same time, like, kind of like pushing back. I feel like I've censored myself to appease people that I called a friend, called themselves a friend, and they weren't really there the way I would expect a friend to be, or at least not supporting me in a way that would help me to continue to grow. Uh, you know? And it's, it, and you know what, I, I think I realized, and this is the same thing here that's going on with this comment, is that, like, 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 like she cares too much what my ass says, like, I mean, according to this person, it's like, no one gives a fuck what you have to say, like, girl, obviously you do, but, like, enough about you, this is about me, is that, um, I care too much what people say and what they think, clearly, and that's what got me into this mess, is, like, caring way too much about what certain people think and you know like it doesn't mean that it could have been like really annoying it could have been really shitty on my part being like that to people being aloof going into space iron noise doing just just clumsy stepping on things breaking things you know and it doesn't justify the abuse and everything but at the same time different various le like people within these parties are taking things too seriously taking things too far Right? And I've, I've been guilty of that and other people have been as well. And so that was my point. Was that I've censored myself. Like being so afraid of backlash from people and losing friends. And I haven't been comfortable just being myself. And it's like hurt me. So that's what I was trying to get to is not to do that. It wasn't about... Hey, me, me, look at me. I want all this fucking attention. Like I can easily go do that. You guys want to see me go do that? Like, I gotta see me, like, start some shit. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But no, seriously, like, I'm not... I am not your representative. Okay? I'm not... I'm not your ambassador. I'm literally just a person with an opinion. As I stop and I think about how unhealthy it is to be so dependent, like, how I have been on other people online for friendships, relationships. Um, sometimes it's really unhealthy. You got, like, a really fake sense of people online. It's like having long distance relationships with people it's a friendship and then it's just very superficial a lot of times because it's so much of it too it's just it, you really have to put in the work to make it count and i could this could this is something i'll probably expand on even i was talking to uh my friend richie about it actually and so i'll give him a little you know a little credit for this pointing this out is that it's, um, you know, it's like a long distance relationship. 
And he also recommended to me because he goes through the shit where people want to use him. They want to use him. They want to use his detransition status to witch hunt everyone. And he's still my friend. I don't agree with everything he's said and done. He's saying, but friend, it's not about like a label and stuff. And what he's suggesting to me is like keeping people at an arm's length. So just like for my mental health, right? And it's like such a good idea. And, and, and that's something that kind of dawned on me recently too when I was meeting people and I ran into this one server of trans women. The server owner was really toxic and I had to leave the server. It was like, at first I kind of thought she was cool and then I was like flirting and stuff and then there's kind of like, both were like, no, we probably shouldn't do this because it's like long distance internet, blah, blah, blah. Logistically, is that, that's not serious, that's ridiculous. Like if you're not really gonna be friends with someone, it's like if you're gonna like just jokingly say like, oh, I'm gonna be your homie and you're not gonna be someone's homie, it's a joke. Like what the fuck, why did you even do that? So, so the point is like, to kind of divest in, like, I find myself saturated in when it interacts with people online, especially having had a big, bigger following at one point, interacting with people all day, my my Twitter blowing up and shit. Um, it's like a, you got this addiction, addiction to the dopamine rush that you get from that too. And like to the point that I even crave like negative attention, and I'm just like not gonna do that. But also, what I'm gonna do. It's like, I'll allow myself, you know, to indulge in like trolling or talking about a topic. I'm not gonna sit here and censor myself anymore. But what I'm not gonna do is I'm not going to really engage my time or value like spending time talking to somebody who's quite frankly like just trash. Like I don't I don't need to argue back and forth. I don't owe anybody my fucking time. Um and quite frankly, like if somebody thinks something is like bad behavior of me and they don't like me talking about a topic. Like, that's, that was kind of part of the point. Because I've been through all these different groups of people who want me to be all these different kinds of things. Otherwise, I just don't fit in. And so, you know what I realized is that I tried too hard to fit into these different groups of people. So, I am not asking people to give me money. You can if you want. Okay? The, you know, uh, dollar sign Lariza. Uh, it's like Lauren Pizza. on fucking... Uh, cash shop. <laughs> give me money. I don't care. You could give me money. Like I don't. I'm not gonna stop you from giving me money. Like, I mean, the point is too is like I'm not posting videos just to see like no views underneath. I don't know if you thought of that. Like I don't know if you have any views on your channel, girl. But. Like, yeah, sure, I want people to see my content, you know? Like, I got some opinions. I want people to hear me. Like, it's fun. But, no, yeah, it, it, some people want me to bow my head in shame until the day I die. Like, you know, that's what I mean. It's like, so you try to fit in with these purity spiraling groups that are so demanding. They know exactly what they want from you. And if you stray from that, like, you're... They're going to punish you, and it's like, you're going to go through this social ostracization and everything. It's almost like if this was in real life, it would just be a cult, right? Right? So you're doing this online. So what is that? How does that make anything else? Okay. I'm not targeting a specific group. This isn't, this isn't me giving like a political lecture. Okay. Like it's getting kind of dangerously close to it. I'm trying not to let it be that, but what I'm saying, and what I hope people get from this follow-up video is that you should give yourself like a wall of positivity, like some padding between you and not only people that are vicious and negative and toxic, like I've been saying, but also even people you might like, because if you can't logistically like actually involve yourself in their life, it's not responsible for you to invest your emotions in so much, like as if they're a part of your life or make these elaborate promises to them and make them think that you just fucking love them or, you know, convince yourself that they love you like that or it's gonna be anything else, like anything more than just, you meet someone who's kind of fun to talk to for a little bit on the internet, okay? Like so many people in three years I've had come and go, so many. And 
you know, it just seems like for me, it's just gotten worse and worse. It's harder and harder because of people I care about more and I get closer to them. And then it hurts and it hurts like seeing them struggle the same way as I do and about how our problems are so similar. It's like reliving the trauma, right? And so that makes a lot of sense to me. Because I've been going through the same thing with like, you know, I've got like baby trans friends who are like asking me for advice, dealing with like serious emotional trauma and, and abuse issues and it's like, I I don't have the energy. I can't help. Girl, I can't help with that. Like, I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. Look, there's a thing that's happening in a few days, and I'm not going to be available for a couple of weeks, and this is why I'm just, like, kind of going on, like, a, a, a chillcation. Like, if you, like, I'll probably not be... Uh, I'll try not... To, I'll try to keep it not spicy for a little bit, and I probably won't post a video for a couple weeks. I just... I got to take care of some things, and some recovery and stuff and yeah so but i am still back so that's another reason why i want to do this video now is because i want to be like yeah i am back so you don't see me for a couple of weeks and that's why but i got some fun things planned i want to do some gaming i'll just keep just manipulating things like behind the scenes you know just, and then people get mad about it they're like oh my god it's these training off uh make them stop please please, please. You guys, just say no to extremism. And um, I think I'll just leave off there without getting too into it. There's a lot of extremism in all these groups, and I just think people need to chill the fuck out.